Welcome back to Geometry B Credit 4. We'll be going over lessons 18.1, Volume of Prisms and Cylinders. It's on page 7 of your packet, and here we go. So the first thing we're going to go over is just develop the basic volume formula. We're going to go over what the difference is between a right prism and a right cylinder. So as you can see here, there's a picture of a right prism and a right cylinder. What is the difference that you notice between these two? And hopefully you paused and wrote something down. One thing I do notice is that the base here is a four-sided shape, whereas the base here is a circle. So I'm going to write that down. One of the differences I notice is that the base is a bit of a four-sided shape, otherwise known as a quadrilateral, if you want to be fancy. And this base is a circle. All right, first question we're going to go into is the basic volume formula. It's going to be volume equals the area of our base times height. So as you can see here, they give us a base uh, that looks kind of like, what shape does that look like? It looks like a triangle. So we'll put that there, um, one half length times width. And for height, that means this right here would be our height. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Labeling our height. We have already done that. Yes. We're going to fill that in. We're also going to identify our base, which we've already done that as well, which is a triangle. I'm going to plug that in. Um, notice that the length and width of our triangle is 7 and 8, so we're going to plug those numbers in as well. There's a number of ways you can calculate this out, one of which is to kind of multiply 7 times 8 together, bring everything else down like our half and our 13. Hopefully you're pausing and working this out, but 7 times 8 is 56. Multiplying those two numbers out, 1 half, what is 56 times 13? On pause, hopefully you wrote 728 and taking half of that, which essentially just is dividing by 2, you'll find that the volume is, and on pause, hopefully you work that out, and that's 364. I also had one student say, oh, you know what, Mrs. A, I did notice I could have written this as volume equals, instead of a half, 0 0.5 times 7 times 8 times 13. That way, when I put this in my calculator, rather than going step by step, I can just go straight to my final answer. And that is also an option that you can use as well. Let's go on to the next one. So here we're going to identify first our base. Um, so here we have a base of, on the very bottom here, looks kind of like a rectangle. So we'll probably use this as our area of our base. And there is that formula. Take a moment right now, pause and write that in. And unpause. Again, we're going to label our height. And since our base is the very bottom, 10 and 5, we're not going to use 10 or 5. We'll use 6 as our height. Identifying our base, which we have already done, 10 and 5. So we're going to go ahead and plug those numbers in. And go ahead and take a moment right now to go ahead and compute 10 times 5 times 6. And unpause, that would be 300. Okay. Um, on this next shape, go ahead again, write your volume formula. And let's label our height. Notice that our base looks a little bit like a circle, rectangle, triangle, or trapezoid. It looks like a trapezoid. So we're going to use that. And we're going to plug that in here. We'll put in 10 in for our height. Let's plug some numbers in. And let's go ahead and work this out. So there's various ways you can do this, um, one of which is to add 8 and 14 together. And unpause, that would be 1 half 
We'll bring down the 4 and the 10. 8 times 14 would be 22. So again, let's go ahead and multiply all those three numbers together. And we get half of 880. What is half of 880? That would be 440. All right. If at any point I'm going too fast, please pause at any moment. All right. Explain two. We're going to go over the volume of a cylinder. So notice here, it's very similar to what we've been finding. The only difference is um, we're going to have a circle as our base. That means the area formula for our base is going to be radius squared times pi. All right. Just going to leave that there for a few moments. One student did say, what is that funny looking symbol you keep using, Mrs. A? So that is pi, and we can use an estimate for that as 3.14. So just so you know what it is, what it means. The next question is asking, describe the differences or similarities you notice between finding the volume of a prism and a cylinder. So again, here are the pictures. And what are some similarities you notice? about those two formulas. What are some differences that you notice now that I write in this? So you're just writing right now what is a similarity you see that's the same and what's a difference that you see now that's different about those formulas. All right, for number six, we're going to go right into it where we're going to find volume of a cylinder. Um, since our height is already labeled, they say height is 45. We're going to plug that in. Our base is a circle, so I'm going to use the area of a circle. And they do give us our radius in this picture, so we're going to plug that in. Okay. Um, we're going to work this out in terms of pi. What is 12 times 12? Hmm. Will that be 144? Notice how I brought down my pi symbol and 45. Let's multiply 144 times 45. So let's multiply the number parts only. Unpause. That would be 6,480. Wow. Let's go ahead and kind of maybe figure out what that would be. And you're probably wondering, how am I supposed to do that? We can multiply 6480, 6480 times 3.14. Go ahead and take a moment to do that right now. And unpause, that would be about 20,357.52. About, right? It's an estimate. All right, and yes, that's exactly what we did. All right, so this one's a little bit of algebra, just a little bit that involves, so we're going to go ahead and review this. Um, first, we're going to label our height, which in this case is x plus 2. The area of our base, which is this right here, so we're going to multiply using our rectangle um, formula for a base. 4x times 5x. Okay. Now I know that algebra was a while ago, but we're going to go ahead and calculate what's 4 times 5. Hmm. 4 times 5. Just so you know, x times x is going to be x squared. 4 times 5 would be what? Hmm. 20. Notice how I brought down the x plus 2. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute. So let's multiply the outside to what's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to give you a little bit of support. Um, x squared times x is going to be x to the third. x squared times the number is just going to be x squared. What's 20 times 1 and 20 times 2? That would be 20 and 40. All right. Last, explain 3. We're going to find volume of composite figures. So it says, how do you find the volume of a 3D composition composite figure. Now this is a lot, but I'm going to kind of go through step by step of how what we're going to be doing. First we're going to find the volume of the first shape. Okay, so first we're going to find 
the volume of the first shape. We will then find the volume of the second shape. We will find the volume of the second shape. And finally, we will add, sorry about that, add the two volumes together. So notice in the last few, I've just been asking you to find the volume of one shape at a time. In the next few problems, we're going to be finding volumes of both shapes and then adding those two together. Okay, and I'll walk you through that process. All right, so here we have um, find the volume of the given composite figure. So take a moment right now and make sure that you're um, writing down your volume formulas. Um, we're going to find the volume of the first figure. Um, in the class, we chose to find the volume of the box. So here we chose our height and our base, um, which was the bottom part, 6 times 20. So we chose 6 times 20 there. Go ahead and take a moment and find the volume of the first figure. All right, hopefully you got that much. On the next one, we did find the volume of the second figure. Just to help you out um, to know the essentially the, the base and the height, which is kind of already labeled here, and also the height here. So for this one, it's a little strange. I'm going to be using that 20 as my height here. And since the base is kind of a triangle, we'll use the triangle formula. So that'd be one half base times height or length times width, whichever you'd like to use. Put that six and four there. And go ahead and take a moment and try and calculate that out. And unpause. That would be about one half. Four times six times twenty is four eighty. And then again, half of four eighty would be like dividing by two, which means that would be two forty. We're going to add those two volumes together: twelve hundred and two forty. What would that be? 1,440. Before we continue, we're going to come back to this in the next video to go over this and the rest of the packet as well as the checkpoint and the homework. See you on the next video.